The previous video, I will show you how you can store the image in the Firebase storage and after that, how you can store the link of the image in the Firebase database. So now in this video, first of all, I will tell you what I am going to create. So in the previous videos, we have done with this layout and store the data and store the image in the Firebase. So in this video, I am going to create this layout. When someone click on this button, this layout is open and from this layout, I am going to store the advanced link of the youtube videos okay so the user can view the videos by using this link okay so now i am going to create this type of link so open the admin app And in the previous video, I create a file update video link dot dot. So open this file. Okay. And in this video, I am going to do upload video work. Okay. So now let's start. First of all, remove this code. Create an app bar. Okay. And I give the title add links. Yeah. You can write the title add YouTube links and after that i set the color purple and now i am going to create the body part and now i am going to create a text in which i write the text select field and give the color and font size and after that i give the so I give some space okay and after that I am going to create a drop down so for drop down I write this code and first of all in this code I am going to create this type of string variable okay and inside this string variable I am going to store C by default so by default in this drop down first of all the c is showing okay and after that when some user select the, some other data so that data is showing okay and after that i am going to create a list for this drop down so i create a list in the previous video so copy that list so here is a list copy this list and write here and change the name here also so inside this drop down first of all i set, i set the value after that i set the icons some styling and after that i write the on change method and in this on change method i store the value which user select in this drop down and after that i map the array which I have created above to this item attribute. Okay. Now after this drop down, I am going to create a form tag, and inside this form tag, I am going to create to add a text, and inside this form, I am going to create a column, and after that, you can include this child attribute, and in the inside this child attribute, I am going to create a text form. So I am I create this text form field and after that you first of all you have to import this designing so alt enter press alt enter and import this decoration dot dot file and after that here I write the hint for the user so enter topic name and after that I have to store this value so go to above and write here topic and link okay so store this value in topic variable so i can store this value okay and after that i copy the same text form field so first of all i am give some space here And after that, I am going to create another 
text form field so yes but in this time i stored the value in the link variable and write the hint here enter link yeah enter video link and now give some space under this text form field and now create a button to store this data so i create this raise button write the own press method and change the text color and also give some padding sorry i remove all the padding and now i'm going to create a, a container inside this container i create the designing for this button okay so yes in this way and after this container i give some padding to the button and write that sorry remove this here and write inside this container so i give some padding to the container from all sides and after that i write the text on the button submit and give the font size 20 and in the previous video i forget to give this padding so that's why the the button is not looking nicely so i open this file and write the padding inside this container and give some padding here okay yes so now the designing is done and now i'm going to write some code here to store the data in the firebase database so the code is very simple first of all i am going to copy the function of random string generator from here to generate the random strings okay and after that i store the data so paste this function here and import the library for this too and for this library we don't need to include any any dependency okay this is by default present in the flutter and now i am going to store the data so first of all create a variable and in this variable call this random string generator function to store the id okay so first of all copy the firebase from here and paste it here and now also press alt enter to import this firebase library okay and after that go down and remove this to link so as you know that this is created before so remove this node and write the node name youtube links okay and now if you see the firebase database you can see that this is present already because i created i used this project in my previous videos okay so that's why i create a node with some other name and now let's run this code okay the app is running successfully so now let's open this app and click on this plus button so you can see this type of layout okay first of all give some padding here in the container so I am going to give some padding here and give some padding 15 and press ctrl s to save and after that you can see this type of layout so this is a uh, text select field but it is white color so change the color here to purple and save code again 
so now you can see that this is purple now select some language from here and enter the topic python and after that write some link so i paste the link here and click on this submit but before submit i am going to open this database okay so close this r and now sorry i close the device view and so yes here is the device view and now click on this submit button so you can see that here is a post data and inside this post data youtube link a new node is created the youtube link and inside this youtube link i create the this code but i don't want to create the this youtube link inside this post data so i am going to here and remove some yes so remove this child from here okay so now the first child is created like youtube link and inside this youtube link the key is created and store the data so let's run again and now i am going to remove this from here because i don't want to create inside this post data okay and i want to create a new node here so i think the app is running so now click on this plus button and go to this and select some C++ and write topic C++ for beginners and now paste the link here and after that click on this submit button and you can see that here a new node is created but not inside this post or data but this and when you click on this plus icon you can see that here is a string and this is random string generator and this key is generated by the random string generator and after that when you click on this plus button you can see that here is a language link and topic okay so yes the admin app code is done successfully and in the next video i am going to start work in the coding app again and fetch all the data and show in the list view so if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and share with your friends and any new topic which you want to me make a video so tell me in the comment and see you soon allah